because we're going to do another one just to show you guys. John's uh, RX-8 rotors for his 20 feet peripheral port on the lathe here. We're going to punch out the, uh, the center to even up this casting and take out the oil slinger. Uh, it's for later on after we uh, balance it when we go weight match all the rotors. This is a crucial step. These rotors, the only thing that's done to them is what? Side Light cleaners. side cleaners. So we just side cleaners them for high RPMs and, the tips. and just tip. the Apex. rotor tips for the Apex, Apex seal slots. So we're gonna show you before balancing and then after balancing, just so you guys know how far off RX8 rotors are from the factory. The RX8s so you gotta balance them anyway, yeah. because they're not balanced at all. Yeah, the see Mike. That's, that's, that's what he just said. Mike, Mike. That's what he just said. Okay, Mike and Mike. Yeah, so this one's this one wouldn't have even made it out of Mazda because they have a six gram tolerance. Ooh. So this is six point two five grams off here. Sick. So that's why RX8 shape themselves apart. All right, this is uh, one of John's twenty uh, B RX8 rotors. These are not balanced in the factory, so we're gonna. Uh, and this one needs about five grams removed out of this side of this tip. Alright, so that went from five down to one. So we got a little bit more to take out. And see way better than her engine. Mike's gonna keep uh, working on these and by the end of the day he should have everything balanced so we can put the engine together and get this guy going because he's been out of an FD for a while and I've been having all the fun. Hey, believe it or not, <clears throat> I still have my uh, Instagram tag, Vargas FD. Oh, you do? So I was gonna come back when I get my FD back. How many followers does that one have? Oh, you paid for I it? I buy it back to some asshole. I literally, as soon as I changed it to Vargas FD, someone took it. And I fucking, I was about to kill him, so he gave it back to me. So He's making a comeback. It's been like five years, four or five years. Yeah. So Vargas FD is making a comeback. Yeah. Still yellow. Yeah. Is that the new background? I feel like I've seen that on there. Look, this is the size of the thing. Oh, wow. <laughs> the size of the feet, not the hands. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, you, you can feel the vibrations. Yeah, it you don't have to worry about Woo. the push unless there's a pocket. It's not good. This thing's putting it in work. Coolest daily I had in a while. Just gotta fix the AC because it's not working right now. The shooting day yesterday for my 20B uh, was a fail. So I bought a 20B thinking, I bought a 20B from someone thinking it was gonna be a good condition engine and it turns out it's junk. This is bad. So. Sorry, Mochi, for using your money, not wisely, but not to take this to the machine shop and see if they can fix it, because if not, I'm screwed, because these are like 45 grand. So, not a bad start, pretty much, the whole 20B build. All right, so, time to head to the machine shop. Uh, got my shaft. Mike has his shaft. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so now we're gonna check mine and see how bad it is. Yeah, check mine. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> see, <laughs> that one's yeah. real bad. I said that. Yeah. Let's see. What's going the guy that was balancing could see it wobble on the machine. I was like, oh. Yeah. Was like 20. 20. Mm -hmm. you going backwards. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, how far off is that right now? About 20. 
20. Mine was four. Five. Five. I mean, if you check it out here, it's gonna be worse. Cause it, <clears throat> yeah. Bad. But I, the reason why I didn't is because there's a spine here. Yeah. Just, <clears throat> I mean, I will when I straighten it. I'll yeah. just start on this side and, but. Yeah, cause they usually bend over here from the special tool. Some people don't use a special tool. So when they pull it off here, since it's tapered, it's like pressed in there pretty hard. And it usually like pulls it towards the way of the tool. <laughs> Cause you see this uh, gets screwed in there. Oh. And then it, the, you tighten the bolt in the middle and it will pull it out. The problem is that if they don't have the correct tool, it will cock it to the side. Yeah. <laughs> Tricky. But that one can still be fixed though, right? Or I maybe- I straighten it. I yeah. mean, if you want to use it, then yeah but they're like how much are they 1800 use we're back at the machine shop we're gonna see if the cranks actually turn out to be good or not uh hopefully because i don't have money buy another one all right so back at mike's about to get my crank on the on the bob weight so i can get it balanced with the counterweights but look at this thing now back in business boys So Mike yellow us because we're using the pain of the shitty one, so I have to use a nice one. Got the nice gauge on it now, and I'm gonna turn it. Oh yeah, I ain't got shit. We're good, Mike. We're Mike, good. Yeah, Mike would have balanced it, and it would have been fine, but. All right, so this is what the shaft straightened, so you can't feel the vibration anymore. So now we can actually get started with the balancing and taking weight out. All right, weight where it's supposed to be. Fantastic. All right, now we can balance it. Oh my god. What? It's almost two o'clock. I called it three o'clock. It's fine. Oh this is this is Mike's fault anyway. Alright, so this is the last spin on uh, John's engine. So this is the 20B peripheral port. Full PP. Pee -pee. All the PP. Big PP. <laughs> Alright. We had to put a bunch of weight back in because we used uh, Mike's weights. All right, so we're about to do the last run of my engine. Uh, I had to fill a lot of the counter weight up just because I had to use Mike's counter because my engine didn't come with one. So after getting the crank fixed, using Mike's counter weight, uh, let's see how it turns out. So you excited, Mike? It was like 20 something up front, 20 something out back. I thought it was in the 30s in the first spin. It was 30 something. 38. Yeah, it was high. Yeah. Oh yeah, before we put any weight. In yeah, 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 it was 38. Yeah. So 38 grams off, and now it's the front, under a gram. Yeah. About a half a gram up front, 0.3 grams out back. Yeah. So we had to fill all this up, and then take out this much weight out of it, the front and the rear. Fill that much up and take that much weight out of the rear. So now we're ready to go. Now we have everything ready for my engine to be built. The last thing we had to do is because I switched to third gen place was to machine the front plate. So the front plate machine. The only thing we got to do now is actually order the parts. So the video white pixels to go away. I'm probably just gonna go with the D Apex seals. Uh, and then everything else Mazda. So I can put it in together. The last about to do on this one actually is these. I need uh, to Joel and tap in a, basically a set screw to hold this in place so it doesn't move. And basically just clean everything off, seal these. I have to seal these ports. <clears throat> so these ports, I need to fill them up with, uh, what do you use? JB Wells. Yeah, you know, JB Wells is other shit. Defcon. So what's that? JB Wells, same shit. No, it's not. Well. No, it's not. So basically, JB well. nah. <clears throat> if death comes, we have to clean this really good. 
and then just fill the whole port up flat so you can actually not use that port anymore so order bearings fill these holes cut all the seals and fill the engine oh yeah about to change these, these. These are, uh, they came in the Cosmos, so one way they restricted the power on this engine because it made too much was they covered up part of the exhaust port. So we gotta get rid of these and put RX-7 exhaust diffusers. So the other ones are like these pretty much. Yeah. So. Instead of those. <clears throat> this is my first 20B rebuild, so we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I don't mess it up because my own engine. Standard. 